All praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. And um, this is just some different events that have been taking place just in this new, just, just in the month of January since this so-called New Year started. Okay? And, um... This is a scene from a Costco out in Colorado while those wildfires were, 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 as they said, moving as fast as the wind was blowing, man. Okay? Hundreds of homes wiped out. Okay? And again, this is just in the month of uh, January alone, man. We just getting started with this so-called new year. Okay? Um... Let me, I just took some screenshots, and this is from uh, Jason A's channel, okay? This came up in my feed, and I said, man, let me do a little quick lesson real quick before I got to go to work. And this is uh, Indonesia, okay? And the people that are there reported that they had never seen flooding like this in their lifetime, okay? And I'm going to just keep scrolling, all right? This is again the Colorado Colorado wildfires, okay. Which after that, then it started snowing. So then after the fire came, they dealt with that, lost everything. Then back though, then they got to deal with the uh, the the snow and the ice, okay. So the Most High hit them with a double whammy, man, okay. This was from Southwest China. Got hit with a 5.5 earthquake. Okay. And all this is biblical. Because like the scriptures say. Measure the other time diligently in itself. Okay. And you do that. The measuring stick is the scriptures. The prophecies. Okay. What the Lord said. What to look for in the end. And we're seeing those signs come in the past. Because we're in the end. On a global scale. And when you click on this video. It's. The name of the video is called Earth uh, Earth Shattering Events, if I'm not mistaken. But to say that is to say that these things are taking place on a global scale. And, you know, we're going to keep doing these videos because this is going to keep happening. And it's going to keep happening more often. And it's going to just keep happening more and more till we're out of here. It's not going to slack up and slow down, man. Okay, it's only going to get, as the Apostle Torah said, turned up. Okay, let me get another one. This is a 6.0 in Taiwan. Okay, this is Egypt, and that is hell. Okay, and this was uh, out in Buffalo. They had record-breaking 18 inches of snow. Uh, for days at a time, okay, record breaking, and that's that's the new norm, record breaking, uh, record shattering, uh, things happening of biblical proportions, as they like to say. Well, everything is is biblical proportions, but we know what they mean, man. Okay, these things that are taking place, they hadn't been seen like this on a global scale, okay, and you know we we. Know these, it's the same scriptures, man. Okay, it's not going to be nothing new. All right, so let me get one. Let me get St. Matthew 24. And this ain't going to be long. It's just a quick hit. Because it's not going to get turned down. All right. And this is St. Matthew chapter 24. And I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What's going on with Russia, Ukraine? Kazakhstan, okay. Uh, what's going on in Haiti? They had a, a assassination assassination attempt on one of the uh, government officials. Not to mention that the president of Haiti he got assassinated. Now they just had another uh, assassination attempt, okay, on another government official down there in Haiti. I think Kazakhstan, like I was saying, the mayor. Uh, there was a, a a failed attempt 
to, to assassinate the mayor out there. This is all recent, okay? All these things lead to war. When you, you know, do harm or assassinate or do things to government officials, those are acts of war. So those are wars, rumors of wars is what the scriptures are speaking about. These are the prophecies. These are those signs that are coming to pass, okay? Let me do this just so it don't time out. All right, not just leave it right there. All right, St. Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Okay, Russia's had enough. They done draw, drew the sand, the line in the sand, like that's it. Come any closer and it's going down. Kim Jong Un, if I'm saying his name right, out there in North Korea, just uh, fired, test fired another. Uh, I think it was a hypersonic missile, nonetheless another uh, weapon, okay? Because all of these nations are preparing for war. Like the scriptures say, beat your plowshares into weapons of, of war, man, okay? Let the weak say I am strong. These nations that were once looked at as nations that were, you know, weak nations, you know, they only good for agriculture, you know, and exporting. Are now like man to hell with that whore. Okay, they hate the 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 uh the whore that rode. Matter of fact, let me just get it so I don't misquote it. All right, Mr. Book of Revelation. Let me get there. Salakia. Okay. Let me find where it's at. Oh, so lucky I got it. All right. Uh, this is Revelation 17 and 4. It says, and the woman, matter of fact, let me go up. Okay, I'm going to start at 1. This is Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, okay, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And they done got pissed off at this shit, okay? They got duped by America and its ways, its wine, its philosophies. They got duped. And all you got to do is look at this this place and see the, the, the results of what democracy brings, man. Okay, freakism, lasciviousness, uh, the, the abominable acronym being upheld, women divorcing their husbands, adultery at a, a alarming rate, okay, moles and bowls all over the place. All right, unruly children, okay? Women just loose and quivers open to every arrow, man. That's what this place breeds, whoredoms, okay? It says, with whom, uh, Revelation 17 and 2, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, you see? This is, th that woman, that set upon, uh, or that whore, I'm sorry, that whore, I keep saying that woman, but that whore that set it up upon many waters, man, okay? Um, verse 3, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, okay, showing, you know, a, a form of royalty, rather, you know, a, a rulership, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, 
Mystery Babylon, the great mother, the mother, Mystery Batsalaki, and upon her forehead, I'm in verse 5, Revelation 17, 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, all right, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, you see, uh, and the nations is sick of this place, man, okay, the nations are sick of this place. All right, but let me go back to uh, St. Matthew 6, I mean 24 and 6, and it says, uh, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Why? Because they have to fully implement that karagma, which is here, okay? They just letting things build up so when they bring it in, it'll be chaotic and they can bring order out of chaos. Okay, that's what it all boils down to. That's the formula that works. Okay, order OKO. All right, order out of chaos. Because when things are chaotic, people will give up whatever freedoms they have in order to 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 remain safe. Okay, we're here to keep you safe. We're here to help. If the government show up to help, it ain't good. All right. Uh, verse 7 For nations shall rise against nation And kingdom against kingdom And there shall be famines Alright There are famines all over the world Alright Venezuela Just to name one place Okay Ain't nothing changed Just cause it ain't in the news North, east, west, and south You know Just cause it ain't in the news Don't mean it ain't happening Alright and famines are coming here. Go check out your local grocery store and, and see how empty shelves are these days. I was in the grocery store yesterday and asked a lady. I was looking for pineapple juice, the dole in the can, because I hadn't seen none in about, about a week. And it's four grocery stores that I frequent because when I go to or when I get off of work, I stop at the grocery store. It's just something I do. I don't go to the grocery store and buy in bulk all at one time because it's just me and I don't want my stuff to spoil. So I go, I just stop because it's right across the street anyways. So I just hadn't been noticing it. And then I walk through the frozen desserts like the ice cream and all that type of stuff is it, slim pickings. Okay. Slim pickings, man. Up there in Canada, you know, they got the mandate now that crossing from Canada to the U.S., you got to be full of juice. And the uh, truckers, they protest. You can check it out on Dabu 77's channel, blocking off the roads, protesting, taking a stance. Like, we're not doing this. And this is going to hurt. And it's all by design. Okay, it's all by design. Order out of chaos. All right. Um, so things are the shelves are are, are, are becoming bare. All right. Let me uh, go on. It says, "For nation shall Saint Matthew twenty four and seven. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. That's plural. All right, and pestilences." We're living in the midst of a, a, a worldwide pestilence or plague, if if you will. All right. Uh, and earthquakes, as we see on the screen. And on this same video, it was saying that South Carolina had 10 earthquakes in a week. South Carolina. You can go watch the video for yourself. This is this is on Jason A's page. All right. This is and he, he what he does is he, you know, pieces together different news segments, you know, just getting them all together, you know, instead of going having to watch every last one of them videos, he just basically, you know, combines them together, you know, and makes it makes a short out of it, you know. Um and you know like the apostle said some time back, you know, Jason A, Dabu 7, 
Yeah, let them let them do the hard work, man. You know, and we just gonna pick that and filter through these scriptures and keep pushing. All right. Um. It says and earthquakes in diverse places, and again, this is a six point oh. I think Taiwan, uh, China had what was it? Southwest China. Was it this way? Southwest China had a 5.5, man. Okay. So it's happening in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Is is are we not living in sorrowful times? Uh, yes, indeed, we are. Okay. Yes, indeed, we are living in sorrowful times, man. And again, it's only going to progressively <laughs> turn up. Okay, um, I bring out one more scripture. Now this is this scripture is just gonna keep coming. These, see, we don't have no three different sets of Bibles and ten different sets of Bibles to where you know we gonna it's gonna it's different. It's the same message. It's the same message because you know our people they ah oh, I really heard that ah oh, you know. Jake always wants the new flavor, the new best thing. Just, well, that's not how this works. Okay? I'm going to keep bringing out these same prophecies until we get out of here. All right? Second Esdras 9 and verse, uh, oh, hell, I started three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see, and uproars of the people in the world, and I didn't even go into the, the man, if you just go on YouTube and put in protests worldwide and change the filter to this week watch would come up they say and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like as all that is made in the world had the beginning and an end and the end is manifest it's showing itself we can't say that enough the end is showing because we at the end Okay. Uh, let me see if I'm gonna get anything else for our clothes. Let me see here. Uh, let me bring this out. This is Saint Luke twenty one. I'll just get straight to the point in 11. It says, and well, let me start at 10. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. And that's, that's definitely happening. Okay. Chariots are being spotted worldwide daily. There's no more denying even the the Pentagon and the CIA, the FBI files, all these different government factions. They got to admit it now because it's you can't keep it suppressed no more. Okay? We at the end. Kahalal Yahweh. Kahalayim, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shabbat Shem, Rakhakadash, Salakia. All right, double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.